Hey, what's up guys? Gemini, back with another video. Today to talk about myths. Uh, we're gonna look at self-destruction of the ultimate work. Hey, what's up guys? Gemini, back with another video. And I thought in this video today, since we got Oh My God WCW incidents coming out this Tuesday, I thought today we would take a look at Oh My God, the top 50 incidents in WWE history. So let's take a look. Alright, Oh My God, the top 50 WWE incidents, or excuse me, Oh My God, the top 50 incidents in WWE history. Now, it's a funny thing. When I was watching this last night, because I wanted to review this before they put the the version of the WCW Top 50 out this Tuesday, I wanted to review the WWE version of it. And what what happened was, I was watching it, and at first I was like super cynical of it, and I really wasn't having any kind of fun with it at all. But then they started showing all these clips of all this old stuff that I hadn't seen in a while, and I was like, whoa! Um, it was actually pretty entertaining. I actually have to say, I was actually having a ton of fun watching this DVD. I was. Um, and watching the old clips, it was fun. And a couple of the knocks that I didn't like. I didn't like the music. I thought the music on it was <clears throat> extremely repetitious. I got really tired of the, oh my god, you know, music. And I, I was kind of disappointed that, that there wasn't... Uh, full clips, you know, of the highlights and stuff, but for the most part, um, it was fun. And I think the WCW one this upcoming Tuesday will not be nearly as memorable, of course, as the Paul Heyman DVD, but I feel like it'll be, it'll be a, a fun watch, like this one was a fun watch. So let's take a little bit closer look. Only right here on the Gemini 888 channel can I get you guys hyped for uh, an upcoming DVD. Uh, oh my god, WCW, I'm almost out this Tuesday, but at this time we're looking at, oh my god, top 50 incidents in WWE history. And it, quite frankly, like I said, it was a fun watch. I, I went into it with a bad attitude, but I have to tell you, by the time I got done uh, watching it, I, I had fun. Um, they don't have a chapter list so I can just tell you so see a DVD like this with three discs they definitely need a chapter listing but I can tell you some of the stuff that I did see on disc when I saw the Undertaker and Stephanie McMahon wedding the Paul Bear concrete crypt uh, incident um, it's hard to remember. oh yeah okay the grocery store fight with Booker T and uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin and other clips that I had forgotten about uh, through the years, I, I had forgotten a lot about a lot of things. You know, the Rowdy Piper uh, coconut incident, and then of course when uh, Austin destroyed the Triple H bus. You know, he dropped the thing on the Triple H or the DX bus. Uh, they showed the Macho Man incident on Superstars. You know, where Jake Jake bit him with the python and all that stuff. They showed the part where. Big Show and The Undertaker went through the ring. They showed the part where uh, Foley and Terry Funk got pushed off the dumpster by the New Age Outlaws. And you could see Sonny crying. You know, they, they have the Shawn Michaels um, lost his smile thing on here. So, it's going to kind of recap this one. Let's finish this video. And I would say if you're looking for a fun watch not a great watch then I would I would recommend that you guys get this there's the one where Jeff Hardy came off that big stage on Monday Night Raw so let's finish this video up and do a final prep for Tuesday oh my god WCW moments yeah of course everyone is still buzzing about the Paul Heyman DVD and rightfully so because the story behind it was awesome spectacular all of the above but the beat goes on I mean, as far as DVD collecting, it's like, we did Paul Heyman, we watched it, we loved it, we enjoyed it, and then the beat moves on to, oh my God, WCW moments this Tuesday, 
and then we move forward to Battleground, and then we get into September, and we're looking at Sting, and we're looking at a busy couple months as far as DVD collecting goes. So we'll just concentrate for now on Tuesday, picking up, oh my god, the top 50 WCW moments. And there's going to be some crap on there. You know, David Arquette winning the world title. I remember watching it. I remember legitimately being just pissed off. Um, pissed off. Like, legit pissed off that David Arquette won the world title. Uh, that was a black day in WCW to see a Hollywood actor with uh, Ric Flair's gold belt. And that's going to be on the top 50 WCW incidents. And... The Robocop thing, I mean, there's going to be some serious crap on here. The electric chair with Abdullah the Butcher at Halloween Havoc 91. That's going to be pretty bad, too. I don't know. We'll have to see how Tuesday goes. We'll see if it's a fun watch like uh, this one, because uh, I'd give you more of a review. I'd go over more of the chapters and stuff, but there was no, no card in it. This one came out in uh, 2011. I know a lot of people hated it. I was, like I said, I was sitting on Facebook and I really wasn't having any kind of fun with it at all. And then I started watching it and I was like, this is pretty cool to see these old clips. So uh, that's going to basically do it for now. And I will see you guys Tuesday for OMG, the top 50 incidents in WCW history where the big boys play for life. Gemini, I'm out. Oh yeah, just in closing, if you guys get an opportunity, just uh, uh, subscribe. I don't know where the box is. It might be right here. It might be right here. Just subscribe to the channel. And that's a good motivator for me to uh, keep making kick-ass videos for you guys if I get that love back. And if not, we'll keep doing it anyways. But if you guys could just do me a solid, just click that subscribe button. Anyways, I'm Gemini. Thank you. Bye.